Hello everybody, my name is Alphanoff and welcome back to Life is Strange. I, if I seem a little groggy, it's because I literally just woke up. I, I, I took enough time to get a bowl of breakfast. A bowl of breakfast, a bowl of cereal for breakfast. And immediately got started. See, I'm loopy as hell from tiredness. But anyway, let's go. I've had my breakfast. Time for Max and Chloe to have theirs. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. Okay. Go sit at the table. So yeah, right where I left off. I wasn't I actually kinda of wish I hadn't done I I actually immediately regretted starting up this recording on the uh mini stream because I didn't know how far back it would take me. Okay. Look. Wowzer. Chloe still eats the same okay, cereal. Seems. So do I. Let's see what we got. Look. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man. I don't want to be famous for this. Let's, uh, sit. All right, there you go. Mm -hmm. right I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh, come on. I don't believe that for a second. She looks like. Thank you so much, Joyce. Joyce looks like the exact kind of person who would table. water her plants Good. religiously. You can clean. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. God, that looks so good. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get so hungry later. Well, good God, just scarf the scarf it all freaking down. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh, I agree on that. I agree on that. I like my creamy peanut butter better. But so, you're baking an eggs, girl, and, and then you don't even finish them. Come on, if you're gonna sit there and scarf down Same that much at once. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, can we see some of these pictures? I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... Mm. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, <laughs> I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Mm, Did you Chloe. guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Mm. Nobody else does. Okay, yeah, I know she's been doing that to cover. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Uh, yeah, that was a bit uncomfortable to witness. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Okay, this is probably gonna be a system that where it'll lock me out. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Mm, don't think so. I highly doubt David would do that. Okay. So this is probably going to take. Uh, lem this, this is probably. 
if I could wake up enough to word right, the password's probably going to be one of those things where like. It, Naturally, appears. David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. Let me take a second to talk. It is. The computer's probably only going to let you put in a certain number of passwords before it locks up. So I'm probably going to be I can even rewinding. See the combination that might be a useful password. Okay, seven one seven one. Now that's a bit more feasible than stepdad. Nothing in it. Off? No. Eh. Look. There's no way Chloe could put that gun back now. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Four zero four five zero 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 five five two one two. Maybe that's a bit more protected. I could try the license number for the password. That might work. Anything better than stepdad. Uh, Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Uh, who knows? Obviously David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Honestly, you kind of can't help but give David a little bit of slack. He's been through some shit. He's been through a war. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. There's no having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentleman still exists. Love to talk to you. It's the name source if you forgot uh-huh and uh, honestly that's kind of sweet that he kept that it might so be long. a useful password Let's see which part my state number oh the date ah that would be the date that they met now that's the most that's the most likely one of them all now the car looks ready to roll this is a better hobby for david than surveillance all right, so let's do it. Let's try the uh, family. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa! Spoiler alert! Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Okay, Rachel's been carrying class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory, followed Rachel to the lighthouse. It's... Okay, Rachel Amber 18 was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Matson, head of secu campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide a secure suspicious medical bag. This officer was called to into question uh, Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached for health details. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. <clears throat> okay, Kate and him follow the same path at every class. Overheard Kate and Dana W. talking about supplies for Vortex Love Party. Drugs? Watch Kate with her, her church group. She knows her Bible. Well, oh, Kate stays in the bathroom longer than her students. Drugs? We saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hey. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Clipper, not even church. Drugs? God damn you, that guy's got one track mind. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Oh, that's lovely. Now he's getting info on Max. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Okay, uh, should we kind of, you know, log off? Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel should definitely hooked should up with Frank. Should we kind of Frank. log off of that? Because he'll know someone's 
Why if does he, David care? If he happens to come in here before that thing uh, locks up itself, he's going to know somebody's been through his computer. You are not good at not leaving evidence behind, young lady. Thank you for giving a shit about me and my mom. For going to parties, I say it's fun. Ooh, get to make over talk soon. Ah, so oh, you get you could get this dialogue even if you do forget to talk to her about it. No wait, is this the other girl? I I, I forget which girl, which one of Chloe's flunkies is which. So I guess if you don't talk to the one girl about getting a makeover to fit in with the club, the other one does. If you were nice. Yeah, Chloe. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. A lot of people, other people would do it. Maybe homeless people. <sighs> Figures Maybe delinquents. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Side with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students in fact- Actually, I just want to kind of bust that right now. He did say that he... What was it he said he did? Look, I'm going to put a little clip from a couple videos ago about what he did, if I remember to do that. But basically, here's what happened. And there that is, if that was long enough. Faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David! You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Yeah, well, no matter what your intentions are, when you come home and start immediately growling like a fucking asshole, it's hard to feel pity for you. Max, don't beat yourself I've up. I've been through that. David earned this stuff. all by himself. Understand? Once again, I've got my own experiences with a step douche. All right, so Max, what's that next? Give me chills, and you better not rewind this one. Nope, not going to. So, what next? What next? Leave Chloe's house. Oh, oh, okay. Just. Oh yeah, I guess I gotta go to school now. And 
Another missing Amber. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go into his RV when he can come Let's out check the door. Time. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I mean, I guess when you can rewind time, you've got all the time in the world, but still. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Where even is Shibbles. the doorknob on that? Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. I hope you got this because I let my don't. Epic clan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Yeah, check the time. Gotta find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. How about steal them, rewind time, you'll have them. This is so creepy. It's not everything needs to be so complicated. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Okay. Okay, everyone's just talking. Everyone's talking about how we saved Kate Marsh. Hello, fisherman. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? A tornado? I hope not. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. Well, they, California does get a Too lot of earthquakes. To switch but careers now. How? See you around, kid. How often do they get the really big ones that actually split the earth up and stuff? As long as you don't get anything, anything like that, it shouldn't be too bad. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Ah, Warren, what? No doubt, but. For freaking nerds. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he's got the uh, tickets. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. No oh, shit. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Uh, where is Frank? There he is. <coughs> oh shit. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? So let's see what we got here. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. That might work. That be, might be better than causing a scene. Yo, what's there up? There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. 
Okay. Kate Marsh? I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. David Madsen? I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? Weird town? Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Nathan Prescott. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast uh, first. Is there any way to pass on our powers? Anyway, that gives me some info I can use with Nathan. What's up, douche nozzle? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Your father? Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. That gives Maybe you a right to me? You. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. No, nope, I'm not done with you. Shit, what do you want now? More info! I need to... I, I got drilling for stuff. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm uh, down, dude. We're in the diner. Once right. again, there's a cop right over there. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now, fuck off, Dyke. Mm, not yet, she's not. Holy shit. What do you want now? More info. And oh my god, the stupid CD drive that my freaking knee keeps smashing. Rachel and Frank? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Okay. Holy shit, what do you want now? More info! Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You get your school supplies, just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You hook your ass up. Okay, so I could talk to the cop or Frank about all this other stuff, or I could just go to Frank for some higher education. Got that pun. What are my options? We'll chat later, Max. Well, I guess that doesn't even become an option anymore I now that I've got this. Said that. I'll need to rewind. We'll chat later, Max. Yeah, whatever. I've got what I need. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank. I was wondering if you had any, um, 
higher education. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. Hmm. I'll back off. <clears throat> Okay, I need to go back. Okay, so what have I already talked to him about? There she is. Supermax. Thanks, officer. I'm glad. Okay. So yeah, now that I haven't said that thing to him, I can talk to him about this. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. What can I do for you, Max? Anything else? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Oh, God. But to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm going over time, so I'm gonna cut this here. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit more tricky than I thought. But anyway, I'm gonna get this in the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next episode. Later.